In today's list, we'll be showing you things you might find shocking if you're into ancient Egyptian history. We're going to be showing you content like the mystery of Egypt's Queen Cleo, some scientific discoveries like the electromagnetic field, and a cute cat fun fact about Egypt. And of course, a sphinx, because why not? New Sphinx on the Streets the roadworks between the ancient temples of Karnak and Luxor were put on hold after a large statue was discovered featuring a lion's body and a human's head. The Egyptians saw the Sphinx as a benevolent guardian, often with the heads and the statues carved in the likeness of pharaohs. The newly discovered relic was thought to date back as far as 2500 BC, around the reign of Pharaoh Khafre, as announced by Luxor's Director of Antiquities. This certainly helps with the nation's struggling tourism industry. A photo with the statued beast and a little history class is sure to keep you entertained when in Egypt. That or pulling out your local Yu-Gi-Oh deck. The Mathematics of the Pyramids Inexplicable things happen every day, and we can all agree that sometimes these things are just best left unquestioned at some point. But when you see the inexplicable right in front of you, like perhaps the ancient pyramids, you can't help but ask, how did they make that? <laughs> Slaves. <clears throat> okay, I mostly kid. Perhaps the biggest mystery for Egyptologists to this day is how the ancient Egyptians were able to make the pyramids in the first place. When you think about it, the pyramids are over 481 feet tall and their base is 3,024 feet wide. Multiply those two numbers together and you get a base of 43,200. Because 43,200 has special significance, achieving this particular scaling factor would have required exact knowledge of the polar radius of the Earth. Mind you, there was no special equipment before, so to achieve knowledge about the Earth back then is quite mysterious. There weren't even compasses back in ancient Egypt, and yet the Great Pyramid is the most accurately aligned structure in existence, having been faced true north, erring only by 3 60th of a degree. Since ancient Egyptians had a real knack for astronomy, some people believe that they did have a bit of extraterrestrial help to build the pyramids, alongside their numerous slaves. Electromagnetic Energy It's shocking to believe that even after millions of years, we're still discovering fascinating things from ancient Egyptian civilization. And believe it or not, recent discoveries hinted that the ancient Egyptians were aware of electromagnetic energy. Scientists discover that the pyramid has been focusing electromagnetic energy in the chambers hidden well beneath the Great Pyramid of Giza. An international research group applied methods of theoretical physics to study the electromagnetic response of the pyramid to radio waves. They found out that the pyramid can concentrate electromagnetic energy both in its internal chambers and the area located under its base. The channel for these waves was found resonating from the apex of the pyramid. The scattered particles were siphoned by the materials of the pyramids, leading them down into the chambers of the pharaohs. It certainly seems that these ancient people knew of the existence of electromagnetic energy and harness it. For what though, that still remains a big question. Silver Sarcophagus the royal tomb of Pharaoh Susenis I is one of the most spectacular of all the ancient Egyptian treasures, even more remarkable than that of King Tutankhamun. If you know King Tut, then you know that this burial site was a treasure trove for looters and thieves, being surrounded almost entirely by gold. Susenis, however, went that extra mile. His sarcophagus was wrapped in silver, which in ancient Egyptian times was far more valuable and rarer than gold. In ancient Egypt, being buried with gifts and treasures was a sign of sophistication, so it's natural that only pharaohs, also known as the Divine Children, were given royal treatment after death. Pharaoh Su, on the other hand, a ruler who governed Egypt for more than 3,000 years, had a sarcophagus that stood out among the rest. Though little is still known about him, his burial coffin was made of silver and his magnificent funerary mask was recovered intact and proved to be made of gold and lapis lazuli, with inlays of black and white glass for the eyes and eyebrows of the object. The mask is considered to be one of the masterpieces of the treasures of Tanis, so it's a mystery still how little is known about him or how great a ruler he was because of the way he was buried. Rosetta Stone Languages all over the world may differ in more ways than one, but the common denominator for all is their ability to communicate both verbally and through written word. Egypt is definitely not far behind this practice of linguistics and is actually known to have some of the most mysterious languages in the world. Asian countries share a common ground with their symbolic alphabet, but Egypt takes it up a notch with its literal drawing symbolisms, more artsy and less alphabet-y. Egyptian hieroglyphs are far from easy to actually decipher, but the discovered Rosetta Stone did help make translations easier for scientists. 
The Rosetta Stone is a dark-colored granodiorite stella inscribed with the same text in three scripts – Demotic, Hieroglyphic, and Greek. The stone was found in the city of Rosetta by French soldiers during Napoleon's invasion of Egypt in July of 1799. Napoleon's forces were constructing fortifications when the large inscribed stone fragment was uncovered by officer Pierre Bouchard, who immediately recognized the significance. He was able to look at both the Greek and the hieroglyphic scripts, predicting correctly that each script represented a translation of a single text. The Rosetta Stone has since been used to crack scripts of hieroglyphs, which has helped us understand better the ancient civilization. Out of this world jewelry. Diamonds are forever, or that's what modern advertising is going to have you believe. But jewelry made out of meteorite? Well, that one's truly and quite literally out of this world. Hard to believe as well, but it is true. These pieces of meteorite jewelry have actually been found, and in ancient Egypt no less. An ancient Egyptian iron bead crafted from the meteorite was found inside a 5,000-year-old tomb. It was a tube-shaped piece of jewelry that was first discovered in 1911 at the Gerza Cemetery, roughly 40 miles south of Cairo. Beads found at the burial site were the first known examples of iron used in ancient Egypt. Also for reference, this was thousands of years before Egypt's Iron Age. Soon after the beads were discovered, researchers showed that the metal jewelry was rich in nickel, a signature of iron meteorites. The jewelry also had the distinctive crystal structure found only in meteorites as well. Secret Tomb of Khufu Back in 2020, scientists believe that they've uncovered another mystery of the pyramids in the Giza Plateau. Within Egypt's ancient Great Pyramid of Khufu lies a hidden tomb, possibly holding the pharaoh himself. The tomb has been sealed there for thousands of years, and it took quite a while for it to be found. At the date of the discovery, scientists and explorers have been searching for this tomb within the Great Pyramid since the 19th century. Egyptian archaeological experts recently learned of thermal anomalies in the bricks of the Great Pyramid, leading them to believe in the possibility of unearthing a new chamber of secrets. The technique was part of the Scan Pyramids project using scans to reveal temperature variations on the pyramid. Needless to say, scientists are working day and night to see through the heat anomaly, and it seems it's only just a matter of time before the pyramids reveals one of its many secrets. Ancient Light Bulb There's this belief floating around that ancient Egyptians communicated and even received help from aliens, allowing the ancient civilization to make technological advances way beyond what's possible at the time. This ancient picture did show something that could well be a thing of the future. As to how that's even possible is the bigger question, though. The image known as the Dendera Light is found on a three-stone relief in one of Egypt's ancient temples and at first glance could be construed as a bulb similar to a crook's tube, with a lotus socket at one end, a cable traveling underneath, and a snake-shaped cord filament inside the bulb. The idea was first proposed by a Norwegian electrical engineer who pointed out that this image depicted an electrical lamp. And because light bulbs are only invented thousands of years after the reliefs were carved, there could only be one possible explanation. Aliens. Well, not quite, though. Ask any person with ample knowledge of ancient Egyptian lore and they'll tell you that aliens giving the Egyptians a massive light bulb is simply crazy talk. The carving actually depicts the creation of the world blooming from a lotus flower, which was the first thing said to have come from nothingness. The snake in the center, which they claim to be a light bulb filament, represents the god Atum. Not exactly the ancient alien story advocates were hoping for, but a great story nonetheless. Cat Burial Grounds The more archaeologists continue to explore the tombs of ancient Egypt, the more evidence mounts that ancient Egyptians admired cats. And they also loved mummifying them, too. Cats were represented in social and religious practices for more than 3,000 years in ancient Egypt. In fact, there even was a cat-headed Egyptian deity named Mafdet. She was considered the protector of the pharaoh's chambers against snakes, scorpions, and evil. A team of Egyptian archaeologists excavating a 4,500-year-old tomb near Cairo found dozens of mummified cats. Also in the tomb were a hundred gilded wooden cat statues as well as a bronze statue of Bastet, the goddess of cats. Domestic cats were increasingly worshipped and considered sacred in Egypt. When they died, they were embalmed, coffined, and buried in cat cemeteries which is saying a lot considering mummification was only reserved for royals and the wealthy. Cleopatra's Resting Place Ancient Egypt will forever be synonymous with Cleopatra, the last queen of Egypt. She was the fabled queen immortalized over thousands of years as a beautiful seductress. Yet despite her fame, the location of Cleopatra's tomb is one of the world's greatest unsolved mysteries. 
Archaeologists working in the ruins of the ancient port of Tapasiris Magna, 30 miles from Alexandria, just uncovered a burial site of Egyptian royalty dating to the time of Cleopatra's reign. Researchers are hopeful that the area might hold secrets of the burial location of Egypt's most legendary queen. Some say that she was buried near Alexandria where she was born. Others say she's built at a port that was built by her Ptolemaic ancestors in the Nile Delta. The final resting place is still in debate, but scientists hope that the reason discovery points them in the right direction. The newly discovered ancient ruin dates back to Cleopatra's reign and has gotten scientists excited that she might not be lost to history after all. However, only a small percentage of the temple has been excavated. Large tunnels heading to the underground chambers have been discovered and it's going to take a while to dig out and check each one. Despite the area being still excavated, researchers feel they're close enough to a breakthrough. See you guys next time!